Hey you guys, it's Brittany and welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing my April kit lineup, which I feel like I'm gonna sound like everybody else and be like, how are we already in April? Also, it's Sunday, March 27th, and I realized, shit, like next week, like to, when I start planning next week, which I think I'm gonna do that plan with me right after this video, that's gonna be like the first kid in April. So I need to film and upload this today. So here we are, but at least I'm like prepped and ready. Like I have my kits like ready to go. So anyways, I'm rambling. Let's just get into it. So here is my monthly that I am using for the month of April. I still don't know if I love that I did like this gray color, but I'm not changing it. Um, that's just like a side note. Like I keep staring at them and be like, do I love that I put that gray color there? I don't think I do, but I digress. Um, this is a monthly kit from Beautiful Planning, which is a printable shop. I do have a coupon code with her. It is Brittany15, and you can say 15% off. Um, or if she's having like a sale that's better than 15% off, you can just put my name in the notes. Um, but yeah, I love this art. It's from Coffee Doodles, and I am not using it um, this year as my Easter kit, so I thought it would be perfect to use as a monthly. Also, to um, whenever I use like a monthly art, I do not repeat it in a weekly because, you know, I want to use like the most art I can. So this is it. I love the peeps. It's so funny. I love peeps, but I don't like to eat peeps. I think peeps are disgusting. My daughter, however, loves them. Also, I do the crop method. So if you buy this and the other kit that I'm going to show you, it's not going to look like this. I do the crop method. So... That way I only print and cut what I want. I save ink and paper. I feel like I say that in every video, but just to reiterate in case anyone is new here. Um, and I do have tutorials on the crop method if you wanna know how to do it. I have several, so. Um, anyways, this is like the bottom portion here because I couldn't fit everything. So, and this is like the true crop method at work, like a, just a bunch of mumbo jumbo on the page. So, anyway, so that is my monthly, and again, printable shop, beautiful planning. And then next up, I have my weekly kit for the 28th to, sorry, I'm trying to move everything out of the way, March 28th to April 3rd. So this is like the first week going into April. Um, and I am using this art from Darcy. It is from last year. It's called Spring Birthday. And this is a printable kit from Pink Planner Shop. I also PR for her. You can use code Brittany15 to save 15%. Um, or again, if she has a sale, just put my name in the notes so she knows. Um, but yeah, I love this art. I wanted to use it last year and I had planned on using it last year, but um, this week that I was gonna use it, um, unfortunately it was my grandfather's funeral, so I never ended up using it. But I thought, okay, perfect, I will use it this year. So this week actually is a heavy birthday week. Um, one of my planner besties, Bailey, it's her birthday. Um, it's also my stepmom's birthday, and it's also my brother-in-law's birthday all this week. So it's perfect to use a spring birthday kit for that. Um, I would, like last year, this would have would have been like, it's still a perfect kit, but actually yesterday we had a birthday party for Alondra's best friend and then it was also my really good friend's birthday and so like if only like it would have been like two days later or something like that I could have had like all the birthdays and like birthday parties like in the same week I mean obviously it's not that big of a deal I got three birthdays this week which is a ton did I print birthday labels I only see two Okay, there's three. I did print birthday labels. I was like, hold up. This is the same page. This is like all the top stuff that I'm going to be using um, for it. But I was going to say last year, everyone's birthday, like actually all fell in the same week. But anyways, so. though, um, yeah, I love this art. I think it's so pretty. I love the seasonal art, like the spring birthday, the summer birthday. There wasn't any fall birthday. So maybe this year there'll be some fall birthday art. But I just think it's so pretty, and yeah, I really love it. So this is the art that I'm using, and again, um, it will not look like this if you order this from Pink Planner Shop, um, but this is just how I, you know, print and cut it to make it work for myself, which is another reason why I am just like a stand for printables. Um, so going into the week of April 4th to the 10th, I have a printable kit, so let me go onto the computer so I can show you guys. 
So for the week of the 4th to the 10th, like I said, I had to bring you to the computer because I don't have this kit print or cut. So I have to show you here, which I feel like is also good that I don't have everything print and cut in advance. So that way you can see what a kit looks like in full without me like cropping it, you know? So I will let y'all know that this is a old printable from Pink Planner Shop. It is from last year. This is also Darcy Art, so I guess I'm using Darcy Art two weeks in a row. I usually try to split up my artists, but I don't know. I felt like I really wanted to use this art this year in April. Um, and Well, I decided like February or April, but then I pushed it to April, and I was like, I have to use it this year since it came out last year. But anyways, um, I'm fine with using two Darcy Arts in a row, though. I love Darcy. Um, so this is called Cloud Busting. Seep, who is the shop owner of a pink planner shop, she has done two different versions of this art. Like she did it and then she reformatted it. But again, this is from last year, so this is not what her format looks like anymore. But just to zoom in to show you guys what it looks like. Oh my God, I love this art so much. It is so beautiful. It's so perfect. Like this girl is just so pretty. I, I love it. I love like the clouds like around the bed. I, I love it. And the cereal... Yes, the cereal bowl gives me life. I give me all things food boxes and also like I'm a stand for cereal. So yes, um, but I just think, wow, her face is so pretty. But I just think this art is so pretty and I love the colors. The colors to me just scream April. So uh, to me, this is just like chef's kiss. So this is the first page. Here's a second. So like different hair color options and skin tone. I like, I love this one the most though. I mean, that is so pretty. And then another one with the brunettes. So you have some different options there. Oh, and then another one with the black hair. Okay. And then this is like your functional, like checklist page boxes, things like that. And then also glitter headers. It's so weird to see this format because it's so different. Um, today it is different. But, and then she used to do this really tall box. Um, she doesn't do that anymore. I'm thinking if she still does. I don't think so. I mean, I never used it anyway, so that's why I have to like really think about that. But then you have like little things here, appointment labels, um, like functional icons, flags, movie marquees. And then this is your like washi page here, which I love, you know, the 15 millimeter. And then I like this pattern a lot too. So again, this is the kit from Pink Planner Shop and I do have a coupon code Brittany15 if you wanna say 15%, but I will have all shops mentioned in the description box with any coupon codes as well. So the week of the 11th to the 17th, let me zoom in a little bit here. I am using, oh, let me take this out of the cello. That would help too. Hello? Um, I am using this kit from Caress Press. I do not know what size the kit is, um, my friend Christy D stashed this to me, so thank you so much. Um, so I don't know the size, but I am like, if I ever get anything from like SPC and stuff, I always get the mini kit. So um, this is definitely gonna be more than enough for me. But this is called Hoppy Easter. This is art from last year. I always forget the name of this artist. I always get this artist and another one confused. I don't know if this is the one that's like stick, stick with the plans or stick to the plans. No, that's a character shop. I don't know, you guys, sorry. But um, yeah, so Easter is on the 17th this year, which I need to get my butt going with the um, the goodies, you know? But I love this art, and yeah, I didn't use it last year, so I thought it was perfect. And, you know, grateful that Christy did de stash this to me. I love the bunny cinnamon rolls. I am, like, determined to do that this year. So I need to get the Annie's, Annie Ann's, no. Annie Ann's pretzels. Oh my God, you guys, I'm sorry. It's 7.46 in the morning. I've literally been awake for maybe 20 minutes and I've only had one sip of coffee. So the brain is like not fully there. Um, but Annie Ann's. No, Annie Ann's is the pretzel. Maybe it is called Annie Ann's. You know, like the little bunny. It's like the organic um, food line or whatever. Anyways, if you've never tried their cinnamon rolls, they are just chef's kiss, delicious. The most delicious cinnamon roll Ever. highly recommend um, but yeah I'm determined to do that this year but this is so cute and just so pretty I love this so much I also love like the scene like if you were like having I don't know friends over or like going to like somewhere that would be super cute but 
alas, it's just us, which is totally fine. But I just thought this was so pretty. Um, so that is the full boxes. I have a ton of extras too, which I'm so excited about. I love the deco. I feel like it's good size. It'll work at the top. I love the squared weirdo boxes because it's so funny. I feel like at first it was like, who uses these and why? And now I'm like obsessed. I love these colors too. So pretty. And it comes with the glitter headers. I love the extra box here. I love this pattern. I just love everything. Um, and then I do have the 15 millimeter, so I will use that. And then I have, like I said, a ton of extras that this kit came with. So there is this tall girl. Um, there is this cute little baby. And then, like, in the bunny outfit. That is so cute. I can't. Um, and then there's this girl, which she... Oops, sorry. I dropped you, girl. Is she on... Oh, she's not on this front part. So there's her, and then there's also this flat lay and this version of the girl. So two versions of the girl, and then there's the flat lay. I honestly don't know what girl, I, 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 I'll I be honest, um, like no shade to this artist because I'm not trying to hurt anyone's feelings, but there's just stuff that we like and don't like. Um, I am not the biggest fan of this artist, like the faces. I'm not the, I just, I don't know, I don't, I don't like them. So I'll probably use this is she a redhead? I think she's a redhead. I might use her um, just because you can't see her face. So I'm thinking of using her. Um, so anyway, so yeah, this is the kit that I'm using for Easter. I just don't know if I'm going to do rose gold or silver. That's what I have written down here. Rose or silver. So you guys let me know. Should I do rose gold or silver? Um, I don't like to do the same foils back to back, so I need to, I guess, kind of like narrow down and choose what I want to, oh, that's whatever, what I want to do. Oh, it says right here, doesn't it? This is the matte essentials kit. There you go. And I love her matte. Her matte feels like, it feels like the old sticker paper that I used to buy. Um, but this was last year, so I don't know if she's changed it. So, but anyways, this is an essentials kit. But yeah, and I love the feeling, so. Anyway, so. Let me know, rose gold or silver? I'm almost leaning towards silver, but I don't know. It's so stinking pretty. So anyways, that is my Easter kit. The last kit that I have to show you guys is April 18th to the 24th. And I don't go into like, I know it's not obviously the last week of April, but since like in the planner, like that last week of April, the 25th to the 30th, which I know is like a huge chunk, and then it's May 1st, since it goes into like May, like in the planner, that's why I just stop here. I hope that makes sense. Do you guys like that or do you not like that? I don't know. I just like to just show the weeks that are like in that like chunk, if that makes sense in the planner. Um, but let me know if you guys think I should actually show the one after this. Um, obviously, I'm not going to show it in April, but if you guys say that like you do prefer that, then I can do that in May. Um, but this kit, I am so excited about. Well, excited and nervous about, well, nervous because of the week, but I love this art. It is from Kittenish Girl Jess. It is perfect. I love that it is number one camping because it fits this week perfectly. My daughter has a Girl Scouts camping trip, and that's why I say I'm nervous because I'm not going to be there. So this will be her first time away from me and my husband, so it scares the crap out of both of us. Um, but I know she's going to have so much fun and it's going to be such a great experience and I don't want her to miss out on this. They're going to be at an actual Girl Scouts campground. So I just think it is so cool. Uh, my husband and I are though, we're going to go and get like a hotel or something. So that way we're in the same area. So just in case anything happens, but again, so excited to like have this art and be able to use it to represent the week. Like I love when that happens, when you can use art that matches a week. Like obviously like holiday art is easy to match that week. Like I'm using an Easter kit for Easter week, but you know, when there's like something specific going on. Anyways, I'm rambling, but I love this art. I also think it's perfect for summer. And I love that you could use this in the summer and it's not like your typical beach or pool kit. Um, so I just, I love that. I love that things are like, I don't know, changing a little bit. Anyways, though, I think this art is perfect perfection. This art screams gold to me. If you think it screams a different color, let me know. But I feel like gold foil is the way to go. But yeah, I just, I love this. And the friendship bracelets, like with Girl Scouts and like the s'mores. And I, 
I'm so excited for her. Um, so anyways, this is what the kit looks like. And again, this is from Pink Planner Shop. If I didn't say that earlier, sorry, I know I was rambling a lot. Um, and this is the new format. So you can totally compare this to the cloud. I think I said cloud busting, it's cloud bursting. So my bad, I need more coffee. Um, but yeah, you can totally tell format is totally different and updated. Um, I love that she does a split washi now and oh, I love this. It's such a good format. So cute. I love the food boxes. I love like the hand boxes. Sorry, Rosie. I know you don't. I love these colors. I just, this, oh my God, this art is just perfect perfection. Jess killed it. But this is what the full kit looks like. Obviously, I won't use all of this because um, I do the crop method. She did change up her icons, which is super cute. I will not use them, but I do think they're cute. And I love that there's like actual gaming ones and stuff like that. And then this is the fashion sheet, which is really cute. You get so many different like hair color, skin color options. And there's like another girl option, which I think is cute too with a backpack. So I'll definitely use this one for sure because I feel like However, she doesn't look like she's seven years old, but I feel like it's easier to pass this as like a young Alondra versus this. But um, anyways, so freaking cute. I love it so, so much. And yeah, this is the last kit that I'm using in the week of April. So that is everything for my April kit lineup. Um, definitely comment down below and let me know if we're twins on anything, if we're twinning. Um, let me also know foil combinations that you think maybe I should change to or think about something else, but I'm really excited to be using all of the art. I'm also excited that I'm using old art that I wanted to use last year that I never got to, so I'm excited about that. And the fact that I'm using two Darcy arts too, because I feel like I haven't used Darcy art in a while and I love Darcy art. But anyways, that is all that I have for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.